All right, this is a CNC milled uh, Alto mouthpiece, and this comes from China. Quite good quality for how much it costs. This is $35. They do have different sizes, I believe about five to nine. So the tip opening on this one is, is pretty good. This is the seven. Very easy to control. Uh, as a beginner, I had some problems with the Yamaha 4C. Was uh, a little hard to switch octaves. This is much easier. Once you get used to the mouth placement, um, it's it's really easy to use. I didn't find myself biting as much. Um, you will squeak until you find the right spot to push your teeth, but I found that you don't need to move your your uh, jaw or anything to use this. Much easier to control. You've got with the larger tip opening, you've got more room to bend and control the note, and it doesn't close up when you blow really hard. So pretty good for beginners, I think. This is a synthetic reed. This is a uh, Ligier 2, I think. Yeah, 2. So I think the 2 on the size 7 mouthpiece is a pretty perfect fit for me uh, as a beginner. I wouldn't suggest going with a really hard reed. Anyhow, as far as the modifications go, first thing I did here was I ground this out. And I used, this is a Fordham tool, but basically just a stone bit here and I just put it in there and just kind of grinded it out a little bit just to make it slide on easier. It was kind of cutting into there. It wasn't aligned too well. So the way this works, it just kind of has a rail that slides on over the ligature. You can bend this together, pull it apart to get it to the right tightness. If you have got one like me, you might have to grind this down a tiny bit just to make it slide on easier. It does have felt inside to protect the uh, bite pad. And then, as you can see, it goes on to about there. So there's plenty of room for the reed tip, at least eight millimeters or so and you can adjust this but very easy to use it has like a little h-shaped uh, pivot that just screws down ligature works just fine doesn't slip out of the channel didn't have to mess with it at all I find that it works really good with synthetic reeds I tried with cane reeds um, it does work quite well though it sounds a bit darker um, much easier to control with the plastic Alright, so I did put a bite patch on here so I wouldn't uh, bite it. You don't have to, there's a plastic one on there. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in here just to show. Alright, so the, the main thing I had to like really change was if you look on the bore here, you can see those CNC markings. When I got it, it was pretty roughly cut. I mean, you could see it looked very very rough very high ridges and I couldn't put that on the cork it would have it would have torn the cork up if I tried to stick that on my on my sacks so I took some sandpaper wrapped it around a glue stick and I just kinda went around in a circle while pushing up and down just to kinda open it up after doing that for a bit uh, you know I put some cork grease on slid it on it worked just fine then I polished it up later you can see the design from this there's actually a, a ring in there it's like a stop so you can't stick the um, can't stick the cork in too far so it stops about right there and then the chamber opens up and it, the chamber is a little smaller than the bore so um, I guess that's the design the other part that was a little rough was this whole area inside the chamber the sides you could see were CNC'd you can see kind of a rough edge on there when you get it and then there was burrs kind of right here at the end of the ramp and on the top so I, uh, I polished those down. It was really easy. I'll show the tools I used. But this is a, a little rough right here, and I think that's good. It keeps the reed from sliding around on the table. It's it's smooth, but it has a little texture, which is good. But then once you go up a little bit, so all the way around here, it's like perfectly smooth. Very nice facing. The rails are pretty even. Um, the tip is a little bit small there, as you can see. It's not too thick, but it is even. It works really well. Uh, plays nicely. Um, it looks a little rough, but that's just the CNC work. This is actually very smooth. And the gold plating is plenty good for what it is. Uh, it's pretty hard to take off the plating. you got to sand a little bit to get it off, which was surprising to me. There's a few spots where the plating might be chipped in certain areas or scratched, but for a $35 mouthpiece, um, you really cannot complain. Alright, so zoom out again.
this is what I ended up doing. First thing, okay, I ground just just in here a little bit to open it up. So it's actually um, right in this area here. It's pretty tight, but in here, it's it's looser. So this is larger opening in the middle. It's like a teardrop shape. That just helps you get the uh, the cap on there without having to force it, since it just connects to this little. Um, protrusion here with the screw. Alright, so that fixed that. Then the next thing I did was I took sandpaper wrapped around a glue stick and I just went around in there to clean that up. The next thing I did was I took one of these half inch wheels and I took a, this is a Fordham H8 but if you have a narrow Dremel handpiece that'll work just fine. I put one of these wheels on and I just I took the guard off so I could get this in into the chamber or all the way into the chamber and I put it in about that far and I just ran it with some light jewelers rouge just to polish it up it took all the burrs off of everything polished everything nice and smooth very even and then I went and I polished the uh, inside of the bore so that was nice and shiny slides on the the neck just fine as you can see it's nice and shiny looks very good um, easy to clean up. I didn't touch the facing at all. Didn't didn't do much with the ramp. All I did was just take a piece of uh, hard rubber and I just kind of rubbed it just to even it out a little bit and it made it a little bit smoother but I didn't take off any material really. Just kind of burnished it. Plays really well now. Uh, definitely definitely worth the $35. I couldn't find many videos on, on these kinds of mouthpieces. I think the CNC ones are rather new within the last year or two. So I'll go ahead and put a link, and uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. But I think for the money, you really can't beat it. As long as you're willing to uh, do a little bit of hand finishing, could be that the one that I got was just very, very poorly finished. Maybe the CNC bit was at the end of its life, and it just couldn't cut the uh, channel as well as it should have. That's very possible. Uh, let me know if you have any experience with these ones. This one's really good. I got another one coming soon. I'm going to take a look at that and do a video, and... Uh, Probably if it has any problems, I'll, I'll make a video of refinishing that one, but really, really nice.